Good morning, I'm Dr. Karen Gray, Superintendent of Lincoln County School District, with a special update this week about the process we went through to adopt a new math curriculum, K-5. This is kind of an insight into the process and the work it takes to align our curriculum. I'll be reading an interview our communications coordinator, Kristen Bigler, did with our Director of Elementary Education, Dr. Katie Barrett. Our district has not had a formally adopted math curriculum for many years. During our comprehensive distance learning time in 2020, teachers realized that not having a set math curriculum prevented them from collaborating easily to support student learning at home. When we started aligning during COVID to teach online, it was easy for teachers to set up what they would teach for reading since we'd adopted the Reach for Reading program and we all had the same curriculum. But for math, we didn't, so they found it really difficult to set up lessons for math together. As we dug in more and more as grade bands throughout the district, we realized that even in some buildings, teachers weren't teaching the same concepts at the same time or using the same materials. We found that we had holes and gaps. Having lost learning was an issue, for example, if a student moved from one school to another, even within our own school district, they could have missed out on something just because there wasn't a, an easy way to guarantee a viable curriculum for mathematics. In August of 2020, we created a small team of educators to begin our planned adoption process. The team had 23 members representing each building, every grade level, English language development, and special education. We did some professional development with this team around math instruction. We used a recommended book from the National Council, Council of Teachers of Math called Catalyzing Chain, Change in Early Childhood and Elementary Mathematics. I read that book myself as well as part of the process. This book identified critical recommendations for broadening math instruction's purpose, equity in math, developing deep mathematical education, and finding joy in math. Yes, folks, you can find joy in mathematics. That key recommendation especially resonated with our teachers because they wanted students to find the joy in doing math. We were targeting conceptual understanding meaning that it wasn't just what you get the correct answer if you do this or do that, but why does it work? How come we got to that answer? So important to understand the process of math. It's a critical thinking skill. What are you doing when you approach the problem this way? And what does that mean? Our goal is that students walk away with a deep mathematical understanding and the skills that help them continue to access higher math concepts as they move through school. We reviewed three different curricula using a rubric and our teachers voted as to which one they wanted to adopt. We had the book publisher present to us answers and questions and facilitated discussions. And once we reached a consensus together, we made our recommendation to the school board. In May of 2021, we presented to the school board and we went through the whole process with them. Math is in our Lincoln County School District continuous improvement plan and the board approved the expenditure and adoption. The total cost for the full price was about half a million dollars. We use both school improvement funds and general education funds to pay for it. Our teachers received their teacher manuals and the publisher provided an overview of the program before it was even in the classrooms in order to make sure that our teachers were ready for a fall implementation. We also have a central Google Classroom created for teachers where they will find the resources for math implementation team and their created unit plans, pacing instruction, and assessments, as well as other additional mathematics teaching resources. Teachers are using the new math curriculum. They are excited about it. And one teacher, Kelsey Culbertson said, she's at Ocean Lake Elementary. She said, teaching multiple grade levels in math this year 
it's been easy for me to see just how powerful an aligned elementary curriculum can and will be. Our new Ready curriculum encourages student collaboration and deeper thinking into how to solve problems. I have had the opportunity to see and hear some great conversations between students who are excited to tackle problem solving with some pretty complex problems. It has been amazing to see. I am excited for teachers in the coming years to see how ready students are to work with more and more complex problems because they are familiar with math routines that build from one grade level to the next. What a great quote from our Ocean Lake Elementary teacher. She's got it, she really gets it. Meanwhile, our students seem to resonate with the materials as well. Here are some quotes from students in Lauren Taylor's fifth grade class at Toledo Elementary School. Lily says, I really like to subtract mixed numbers, and I like the calmness that it has. I just really like it. I really love it a lot. Well, thank you, Lily. That's an awesome, an awesome quote. And Rosie says, it brings me joy when I finish the problem in time and when I get it right. Bentley says, I love math. It is cool, and it's my favorite subject. And I'm really good at it, so it's fun for me. And Jackson says, when I do fractions, all my troubles go away. Maybe that's what we all need, Jackson. We just need to do some fractions. But I think it's the understanding and feeling good about that understanding. 2021-22 is our first year with this curriculum, this fully aligned reading and math curriculum in this school district. Our universal screening and smarter balanced assessments will give data to us to indicate how well it seems to be working with our students. We align sixth grade with our secondary math to transition easier 712. In the 1920 year, we implemented our English language arts curriculum which is also aligned K-6 in our school district. This is the National Geographic Reach for Reading program, and it's just excellent. Secondary education has also been aligned for mathematics and language arts. That's all I have for this. It's a lot of information, but I hope you can appreciate our work on aligning our curriculum. Look for a copy of this article in our newsletter coming out later this month with a great image of one of our students during math class. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.